Mark, thank you so much for coming here today to talk to us. Uh, tell us, where was the starting point for this journey? Ooh, it's how, how far back do you want to go? I was, um, I used to be able to walk and I used to be able to see and now I'm, I'm blind and I'm also paralysed. And now you're on a journey to try to find a cure for paralysis. Yeah, so when you have a, a spinal cord injury, when you have a fall like I did, um, the prospects are that you stay in hospital for a number of months, you, you learn how to get in, in and out of your wheelchair, how to look after yourself and then you live your life usually in a wheelchair and um, I've had to accept that, that I'm paralysed but I'm, I'm now trying to find a way out of the wheelchair and I use um, exercise and I've got a set of robotic legs. And can you tell us a bit about the robotic legs themselves? Yeah, well about, about two years ago uh, these things just didn't, didn't exist and um, a guy in America invented them so they're it's like a frame that I step into. There are motors at the knees and at the hips, and I wear a laptop and a, com a battery pack on my on my back. So, with the help of uh, my trainer, I'm able to st I press a button, lean forward, and stand up with the motors and uh, the computer working together to, to help me stand. Tell us about the work you've been doing with the scientists. Yeah. So after after I got my robotic legs. Um, I started to meet scientists in America and, and in the UK and then I did a, a three month study earlier this year combining the robotic legs with uh, electrical stimulation of my spine and taking, a, taking an, antidepressant, uh, an antidepressant drug and the whole idea is that if, if my spinal cord is damaged then um, somehow we need, to, we need to reroute the nervous system to try and get it going again. At a very basic level, I was able to, when I was standing and walking, I was able to join in a little bit uh, and move my legs a little bit and I was also able to feel them a little bit. But I was only doing it for three months, so we want to find out what happens if, if I do it for 12 months or two years or three years. What's particularly exciting is that technology changes and improves all the time. So, you know, I'm looking out five, ten years down the line to see, you know, what uh, what will be there and what, what will I be able to do. I'm sure a lot of people that have been through what you have just wouldn't have been able to do it. I mean, how do you how do you keep going? Well, I, I'm inspired by people who have done the, the impossible before. I've been inspired by explorers all the time and I suppose it's exciting seeing what's possible and that's what keeps me going. So what message would you have to the young people out there? Is there something that they could do to help or how could they further this or get involved? We want people to get involved, we want people to um, put their brain power into, into finding a cure for paralysis but they can also check out our website markpollocktrust.org and uh, sign up for our newsletter. We want to build a big global community of people who are excited and interested about uh, finding a cure for paralysis. Thank you very, very much for talking to us today. You're an inspirational man and I wish you all the best of luck with your future endeavours. Thanks.